Hey everybody, it's been a little bit since I made a video. My thoughts on Donald Trump. Well, as I'm doing some wash, you hear it. All right, the way I look at it, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that. Swallowed down a wrong tube. Oh yeah, so I had a bob. Oh, good Bob. Anyways, I say it's all a wash just because of the fact that, hey, look, in my opinion, you know, oh, you see him better. Oh, here we go. In my opinion, you know, the guy's doing a decent job. I mean, yeah, he's a little out there and he has, you know, some verbal issues and things of that sort. But, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is in in my income bracket uh i would probably be more beneficial having a liberal in office um plus i'm more liberal and i believe in more uh liberal ways and more liberal ways of living excuse me uh for your yeah i would say upper middle uh to higher to rich you'd want donald trump and that's why i say it's a wash and it's always been a wash you know you know back in the day you know, when Reagan was president, very good president, you know, there were things, there were changes, there were things coming. But then, of course, the Bushes came in, Clinton came in, you know, everything got screwed up. You know, we all know why we fought in wars for oil, you know, for, for monetary gain, killing our soldiers, having our soldiers come back here. God bless them. If you're a soldier listening, God bless you. Thank you so much for your service, you know, and, and here we are. These poor guys come back and don't get shit. They don't get proper VA and in and, 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 and the VA, you think they're going to get good medical attention and good medical advice? No, they're going to get shit, you know, and then they sign their life away to the government, you know, which is, which is a great thing to do, which is very respectable, but they should get more benefit and they should get you know taken care of better and if there's so many out there that they can't do that then they shouldn't enlist so many people if you're going to enlist so many people then make sure you can take care of the people that you enlist that's just my opinion i'm not a soldier i never went that route but i respect them to the fullest you know back what i was saying so either way you know we are at a time and we've been at a time where obama was in office you know changes were made here and there maybe some benefited one way others didn't benefit there was all you know he didn't do it etc etc complaint complaint trump's in office complaint complaint the next schmuck that becomes in office excuse me for saying that or I actually say the next guy sorry excuse me apologize on that i can't edit it out so so be it but the next guy that that you know comes in office all right if we're going to have the same scenario. He's doing good, he's doing bad, no, he's doing this, no, he's doing that, because everybody's divided. There's a, it's all a division. And when you divide, you, you, you break up. You know? Four divided, by, four divided by two is two. You know? Two times two is four. So you divide, you lessen, you multiply, you, add, you, you, you become greater. So why not multiply in, in the same thought processes and, and why not come together as one as a whole and try to fix the nation and try to fix the problems that be in a manner where you take away the ego, where you take away the BS and you sit down there as a real human being and as a real person, as a real man, as a real woman, as a real conscious, you know, loving human being and, and, and come up with some... You know, and come up with a game plan for everybody to make out. You know, not just one party to the next. You're right, I'm wrong, he's wrong, she's wrong, this wrong, that wrong, that. We're all fucking wrong. Excuse me for saying, but we are. You know, and then there's all this talk that, you know, we're, we're in our history books. So this is wrong, that's wrong, the educational system's wrong, the, the medical system's wrong, Western, you know, here, there, there, and everywhere. Everything's wrong. So what do we believe? You know, what they tell us on the TV, what they tell us, what they water down, what they what they have us brainwashed with, what, 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 
you know, what we're seeing, what we're told, what we think that, that we're being told, what we're just a smidgen that we're being told. Could be being told the total opposite of what's going on, which probably is what's going on. You know? <clears throat> so I just come to you all, and I guess I deviated from Trump, but really what I was getting to say is it's just in the class. It's just where you want to be. You know, if you're middle upper, Trump all the way. You know, do I believe a wall should be uh, put up? Sure. Why not? You know, there are illegals that have come in. I have no problem with ethnicities coming in. We are the melting pot, though it does. We are so divided. We're not a melting pot anymore. There's so much racism in this country that we're not a melting pot. There's so much bullshit. We're not a melting pot. We should be because that's what we've stood for. That's what the Statue of Liberty is up there for. If we're in such division, take the Statue of Liberty down because you're insulting her. You're insulting the reason why that was put there. That's liberty. Come to America. Liberty. Freedom. That's why we're here. Embrace ethnicities. And that's what we're doing. And that's what we should continue to do. But not when illegals come over. And yeah, it might not be that many. But it could be one or two that have raped and killed. And God forbid... People are going to say, oh, it's one or two, but God forbid it's one of their family members or, or whatnot or people they know. They're going to be thinking the total opposite. And that's the problem. So, yes, build a wall. Let them come in rightfully and try to mandate shit. Straight up. You know? All this war on everything else, all this, this, that, that, and this. So I agree with, with things that he said. I don't watch the news much. I don't follow it much. I'm not going to lie. You know, I don't, I don't really care to see what's on the TV. I don't really, it doesn't really do much for me. It's all negative en anyways. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing there that's going to make me feel any better. I feel Trump has balls, which is good. <clears throat> I feel Trump ha can, can stand strong. And, and can show that he's a leader and that he's not going to take any BS. And I think that's great. And I know he has great support for the troops. And I know he has great support for a lot of other things. I can't be specific because, like I said, I really don't know on that aspect. But do I see him as a total freak show and a total freak out? No. You know, I see him as a man who stands strong who holds strong in what he believes in, and who's self-sufficient, and who's run New York City, and who knows business in and out, and he just knows stuff. And we all know in the political realm, the president is being told by other angles, other ends, there's Congress, there's Senate, so I mean, you need just a strong leader, a man that's not going to take any bull. And a man that's gonna 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 grab himself by the balls, and it's gonna get on TV and show that. And he may do it in his extreme mechanisms, and he may do it how he does it, and it might seem kind of weird to us, but it's right to him. And he might be a little, you know, flamboyant in the sense that he might be a little, you know, overboard. But that's just him. And remember, he's a Gemini. In Gemini's 10, I'm a Gemini. So when I see some of the stuff that he does, sometimes I think to myself, well, if I was in office, you know, you know, how, how would I? So, you know, that's where I get confused, you know, <clears throat> as I always say. But I think he's a, a strong, a strong leader in the sense that he's not going to take that BS and he's not going to wimp down to other nations and other countries, you know, coming in hard on us, you know, trying to, you know, trying to bully us. I know he won't take that. And, and, and that's a great thing. So, you know, in my category, like I said, I'd probably be better with a liberal. But in my opinion, it's not going to matter because it's who's running the House. It's who's running the Senate. It's the lobbyist. It's all kind of, you know a con constrict configuration of what's going on. So in the reality and the scheme of everything, I don't think it's as black and white as, as you know, it's made to be. And that was about it. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for passing by.
God bless you, universally bless you. And uh, hit the like button, give me some comments. You know, share the video if you want. I don't mind uh, getting some more views, that would help. But I appreciate it all. Thank you so much.